Hello everyone. It is no news that the Stefan Banach scholarship program is out. The call for proposal is out. And for those who are not aware of this program, it was once Ignacy Ukasevich scholarship and now it has been combined with the Banach scholarship which was meant for mostly those in Asia and some countries in the houses. Now it has become one program, the Stefan Banach scholarship. And we are going to be going through the website. I understand that many people have many questions, especially since there's been like many changes. It is quite different from the call for proposal of previous years. For example, in previous years for their application, they requested research proposal. But for this year, there is no need for you to write a research proposal. And I would just like to clarify that. So we are going to be going through the call for proposal together and also navigating through on how to apply for it. And if you happen to just click through this link, I'm going to drop the link in the description box and you notice that it is in Polish or a language other than English which you understand. That is for English speakers. For if you are a Polish speaker and you understand Polish, you could as well just click on this. The post key it turns back to Polish language and this is English which we are home to. Now let's go through it. We are going to go through it section by section. And before we go through it, I would like you all to know that there's also a webinar organized by NAVA to take hold on Thursday, 27th May. I am going to drop the link to the webinar. In the webinar, you can ask questions which you feel you are not clear about. You could ask for clarification from there. Yes, it would be a very high hopeling one and don't miss it. Now let's proceed. The first section is talking about the basis of the announcement of the call for proposal. It's talking about the scope. And we can see it's like call for proposals for participation in the Banach Scholarship Program Second Cycle Studies. When you say Second Cycle Studies, it means for Masters. For Masters, first cycle is bachelor's degree yes i hope this is clear let's proceed now we are moving to the second section which is the objective of the program the program aims at supporting the socio-economic development of developing countries i believe this is quite clear you just have to reach you the stone big thing about it is just stating the objective of the program. Now we have the deadline and other terms of submitting the application. This is the deadline. The deadline is 21st of June 2021 by 3 p.m. And take note of this, this is Warsaw time. That is uh, um, CEST, that is Central Europe time. So no matter where you are in the world, try to like keep track of time for those that are like GMT plus like let's say like plus four plus five there might be like some hours like in front ahead and for those like before the G no no that side America I don't really think it's consensus no. it's just we that we are here within the GMT plus one and above like that this is the next one, method of submitting the application and you can see this, fill in the application, you click on it, it directs you to this page because I already have an account there, it's brought out my email and my password, I can just 
log in but i wouldn't want to actually okay let me log in and just show you how to navigate through but you have to just create an account for someone who does not have an account before and if it is showing maybe polish this english and then automatically depending on the browser you are using i'm using microsoft depending on the browser you can you're using you can just change yeah you can change your translation like translate to english or polish or any language which you want to translate to you understand yeah let me log in so this is the way it's going to be like because i've enrolled for the program you can see this my own portal here the whole positive decision and all but for someone just creating a profile this is what you're going to look out for like this runs up here you're going to check through you can check through the programs it's going to direct you to the programs that are housed like that the applications that you've made that is if you have started making an application you understand but let's go back to the program so if you want to check like your application if you've actually started and the progress you are going to see it in this application let's check for the call for proposal you can see we have open calls here two of them this is stefana bana this is program stephen dianik him stefana banaha yeah this is the stefan bana you just click on click fill out form i wouldn't want like duplicate file because i have an account already but for you which just created is quite easy now let's go back to our previous page yeah you all know how you can navigate through like that now the language of the application the application shall be prepared in polish or in english yeah and i'm so sorry this is my help and the maximum number of application as you can see like in the um, part which showed application you can see all the applications i made it was like stated out and pointed out you, ju you can just make just one application so you have to do what you're doing and be i should like say now don't be distracted just make do with what you want to do and then submit make it perfect yeah now this is the scope of activities what does it cover what does this program cover cover it covers engineering and technical sciences agricultural sciences and natural sciences natural sciences like let's say biology physics and all like that yes it covers that and these are the countries which can apply like the citizens of those countries can have to apply Albania, Armenia, Azabaya, Belarus, Bosnia, Herzegovina, Montenegro, Georgia, Kazakhstan, Kosovo, North Macedonia, Ma Moldova, Serbia, Ukraine, Uzbekistan. This is for like this set of citizens from this country, they can apply for um, the second cycle in the field of humanities and social sciences you understand and but there's an exception so like this philosophy this study yeah now for africans we can just apply for just stem stem alone like the engineering technical agriculture we cannot apply with the humanities and social sciences you understand now this is what the program allows it allows you, you can either go for your master's degree in polish or in english as a public or non-public university they are going to sponsor like the institution free let me say it that way then you are going to get like monthly stipend for your living expenses you understand then there's going to be like it's mandatory you go through like preparatory course yeah for it and then um, Yeah, and the thing is that you are not making another separate application for like admission into the university for now. You just have to fill this application form which was listed out. You understand? Now we can proceed on to the countries which can apply, like eligible applicants who can apply. 
these are the countries here Nigeria is here South Africa, Senegal, Kenya, Tanzania, and, and like we so find the countries like in Africa, which are quite so well, Ethiopia, like that we can apply with. And those countries, I believe, you can host it. That as far as you see, citizen of those countries, then you can apply. Then as far as you do not have a Polish citizenship, yeah, and then you are planning to start a second cycle degree or a preparatory course the preparatory course is a polish language course that you undergo you understand just to familiarize you with the language and the social social economic affairs and how everything like that yeah and then at the time of submitting the application to the program you must be like the last year maybe a last year student of your bachelor's degree in this particular field in this particular field or uh, you can scroll down Yeah. in this particular field before you can like ap apply and it's from 2019 this is not earlier than 29 2019 2019 yeah. 2019 so for those asking like i'm 37 i'm 28 you know as far as your year of graduation it's it's um it's not 2019 2020 or 2021 then you are not eligible to apply yeah and then as far as you've not yet obtained like completion of second cycle studies like you don't have a master's degree you understand just have your bachelor's degree that's the basic requirement then you have the documented knowledge of Polish language minimum at P1 level, English minimum at P2 level. During my own time, with maybe use of medium of instruction from the university, maybe you are privileged to go through the English language test. Maybe you've underwent the test and you have this document. That is quite important too. Yeah. And this is the time frame, as you can see, you can read through that on the website the procedure for the assessment and um, the selection and they are going to select it they have the general assumption formal assumption and substantive as assessment the thing is that you on your portal your application page you are going to be seeing like when it's closed and they are like reading it you will see that to move from one state to another that was the way as mine was like when i applied and i did it that was the way my fellow colleagues too were like like the application you see that you're moving to your, you get to like final stage you understand you're going to see the progress if you've been disqualified you know if the progression you're going to know yeah then this are the basic document basic attachments and if you go through the form i'm going to um give like a screenshot of how the form, to, uh, form look like yeah and you're going to know what like to just upload on it this is your passport just have your passport then for those who don't have like passports i would advise that um, you put your maybe nin or any other means of identification then you can view them sideways for those who have applied like in previous sets along the line when they pass through a stage they mail them and they ask them to pr provide your passport so if you are able maybe uh, the person because i do in nigeria now there are issues with like getting passport and all by that time i hope that you will have been able to get your passport and you can provide that or if you can provide that for my own sex they were disqualified your passport is quite essential that's that's for that and then scan of the first cycle studies diploma yeah your certificate or your transcripts the two just upload everything there yeah then these are what your certificates should be they, they also even put like document of how it like should look like something like that you see something like model certificate it's trying to say that at least it should have something this particular details like they want to see your grade they want to see your courses they want to see the name of it and the stamp and the seal yeah 
So it's not like I've been hearing some this like some people are saying model certificate. How are they going to get it? No, it's not like getting like model means like an exemplary certificate. They are just saying okay, let's just assume like it's like this because certificates issued by different schools are quite different. But at least it must have all this and your transcript you can also suffice for it you must have the transcription you can scan everything and just attach it depending on the one that is pertaining to you yeah because i know education can be quite funny especially i'm talking from nigeria now because i'm very aware of everything going on many people are having issues getting one thing or the other so anyone that you feel that it's quite it's quite important kindly kindly like attach if you have to do combine it and just supply it you understand what i mean yeah. and then you could also ask questions at the webinar for more clarification you understand i'm speaking this is a disclaimer i'm speaking based on what i would do yeah then a scan of the document confirming knowledge in english language um does it yeah Kind of, and if it's Polish, of which I don't really think many people really are aware of like Polish, but I think like many countries like Belarus and so that those countries they study like Polish language and all. But for we Africans, not in English. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we'll be able to get medium of research from your university. That is if you don't have all the um, tests for English and all, you could make use of it, yeah. And now the recommendation letter. You can see there's no research proposal in the requirement for this year's application. The recommendation letter. It could be drafted by a Polish diplomatic mission or in an NGO or a university. Now, the thing, the thing about this recommendation letter now is that, okay, let's go somewhere first before, I, before I, you can see. There's a mail that um, someone sends to like the correspondent of the program. Person reply like recommendation is that it's optional, like it's optional that. But the person gives the characteristics of what it should be, like it should be of good quality. It should show what the candidate can do. I will try to see if I will attach it so we can all go through it. Yeah, so we can all go through it. And then I'm going to like, um, I think what I would advise, I think it's quite important, it is not optional because you can see this is 40%. And for those asking if if they have like 2-2 two, two or 2-1, um, if they don't have a first class, maybe it's advisable, this is, my dear, you have nothing to lose. You have nothing to lose. Let's do a calculation. Okay. Let's say you had, let's say your your hmm, grade is over five. You had five over five. That's uh, that that would be five over five times sixteen. Now calculate it. That's what. That's sixty percent. Let's say you have 4 over 5, like 24 CGP over 5 times 16. Calculate it. 5 and 16. That's 12. 12 times 4. 48 percent. I say you had 3 over 5 times 16. 5 and 5, 5, 5, 5, 5 and 16. That's uh, 12. Yeah? 12 times 3. That's 36 percent. Yeah, you had two over five times sixteen. It's equals to that's five year one, five year twelve, twelve times two. That's twenty four percent. Let's say you had uh, no, no, because you have like one, one for two. <laughs> okay, let's keep it feasible now. Um, and let's say yeah, that's for the grade, and you don't have a recommendation letter, which I liked your research experience your competency your um behavior you understand and your reliability towards things and you are not quite lucky maybe it's from the vc of a university or from an ngo that is 
quite important or you are lucky enough to even see a polish diplomatic mission to get your recommendation letter from let's say okay you are the type that has like the cgp of 2.0 over 5 your percentage is 24 24 right and let's say from your recommendation letter you're able to get like let's say ceteris paribus got 30 percent of it 24 plus 30 that's what that's 54 percent that's above average okay um let's be adding the 30 percent for you that had 3.0 that is in like the range of two two i'm not really quite familiar with the range i'm so sorry it's only first class to range and i know 4.5 to 5 but like the mini range i don't know i did not i don't i'm not really quite familiar but let's just use that as a border like less than like three over five then sixty yeah that's like thirty six percent like god yeah thirty six plus thirty that's sixty six percent you got six percent to overall plus thirty for you that had four point zero mm? in five uh TGP that's uh, forty eight plus thirty that's seventy eight percent you that have five point zero CGP plus thirty yeah that's like um, 60 plus 30 that's like 90 percent yeah i'm just saying like if you have your recommendation letter like if it's 30 percent now look at it everything is almost above average and you know now for this year now the competition is how should i say like they've caught it like because the years it's now it's now restricted so what do what how do you want to lose like i don't understand like what do you have to lose there it's not like they are asking you to bring money or they're asking you to bring one big thing or submit one special thing like that it's just normal requirement just that please don't restrict yourself because of the particular grade or something. i would advise that you shoot your shots you understand me? yeah so please let's proceed and then this is the they gave more um highlights about the principles of the assessment and everything kindly read through for more understanding yeah kindly read through kindly read through and this is the budget like monthly stipend when you're in the preparatory school you get like 1700 then when you start your masters you get one five because they believe that yeah you can use your student visa to like work and you should have a lot of money yeah and in the first year just like this that you are like moving to a school like 500 is to like settle down when you're moving 500 is what so i think that's quite understandable yeah and the results will be had by 31st of august yeah and these are the attachment like model application for instance like how the application form looks like oh I think it's not um, accessible now but since you want to like apply it's better you just apply through and just see what you want to do by yourself um, okay list of let's check this yeah. okay so these are the list of english language profession proficiency tests that are quite required i held all these ones yeah 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 tofu those are the quite popular ones and all these ones to be able to like get it you, you understand yeah there are many ones that are like that you can accept you understand but if you don't have this if you don't have one to do this get a medium of instruction universities issue it just contact your exams and record tell them that you need medium of research to show that yeah attestation to, to attest that yeah you studied in this school yeah mm. where is the previous page mm. i think i've lost track of it okay i'm going to press like back yeah. so we're back and um this is like the regulation you could read through more it's this like the rules and regulations and it's in english it is in english 
So please spend your time, read more on it, and understand more. Yeah. And understand more. It's actually worth it, and it's less stressful. And don't forget, it's going to close in a month's time. So please, any gathering you have to gather, gather. And before you submit, confirm all your documents first, Abe. Yeah. And this like the model certificate, like the certificate at least should have your name, your date, your citizenship. At least your school your school will get placed now. Even if they do not put citizenship in your certificate, yeah. Mm -hmm. And your score, your grade, I know let me clear your food there. I know they didn't put there. My dear, about your transcripts. Mm -mm. Yeah? Okay. So that that's um basically it, yeah. Mm. Yeah, this, this is like an a, a round two, and you could also mail this in case, just in case, just in case, just in case. Don't let anybody deceive you that okay, you can get some money and if you do this, you can only mail an axe. You can mail an axe. When you go people, your life is not hard. Just ask. If you don't have, that's when it's a crime. Hmm? And please join in the webinar. I don't, my fellow colleagues who are going to join, some of them are going to join. I hope they'll give us feedback and I wish you all the best in your application. Please don't be discouraged. Yeah, you can do it. Yo, 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 yo. Oh, thanks for watching. Uh, I'll share with whom you take my life for good and all that. Uh, and please, if you know, like, I'm not replying here on this platform, kindly check me out on LinkedIn or via my email. I'm more active there. Yeah, thank you. See you later.